Hi everyone and welcome back for a new video and a new recipe. So this week we'll make very healthy bread. I could even say sports bread because, well, as you can see first, there's good flour, wholemeal flour, wholemeal rye flour and white flour also. But this recipe is made out of levain, hard levain, and also there's tiny piece of yeast to help proving. Because this bread is quite dense, you will see at the end of the video, because it's full of seeds, pumpkin seed, linseed, you can put any other seed that you want. And there's some dry fruit also. So for this recipe, I put raisins and cranberries. So that's very good bread to eat for breakfast or any time of the day, even for lunch. You can eat with something sweet and even with something salty. Yeah, it's super tasty bread. And if you do some sport, you can just also eat it because the seeds are full of protein and omega-3 and well, whatever you need. So I weighed the ingredients. Now I put the water first in the bowl and I add all the rest. And I'm gonna start mixing in the first bit for a few minutes. Just time to mix everything together properly before going for the second speed. As you can see, I also put sunflower seeds and you have the recipe in the description of the video. So if you do lots of sports, go for this bread. Try it. Then I mix in a second speed and when it's mixed, I just add all the seeds for one or two minutes in the first speed. Just time to let the seed spread everywhere in the dough. The dough will be very sticky just because the linseed soaked in the water. So the linseed makes a kind of gel. The bread will be quite sticky and quite dense at the end, but that's totally fine. And then I just let the bread rest for 50 minutes, one hour. After this hour, I want to give a fold to the dough, but it's quite sticky. So it's more like giving some strength to the dough, manipulate a little bit the dough, like kneading by hand and just to give a little bit more consistency to the dough. And I go for one hour rest again. After this other hour, I give another fold and one hour again. Then it's time to divide. So this recipe, as you can see in the description, is made for two loaves that I baked in the tin, or you can make just one big one if you prefer. But I wanted to make two small ones. Once you divide the dough for shaping, I recommend you to use quite a lot of flour because it's super sticky, as you can see. Just shape it like normal and you can just put it in a tin. I recommend you to bake it in the tin and not in a basket because it's too sticky. So it's much better in the metal tin and then I leave it for 24 hours at 6 degrees. Mm -hmm. 
So the next day, as you can see, the dough has proved a little bit and it's ready to put in the oven. I bake for 35 minutes at 240 degrees and then I take them out from the tin. As you can see, it looks like kind of two bricks, but actually it's not that hard, it's quite soft, but it's a little bit dense, but it's a bread full of seed and dry fruits. You can't have a lot of bubbles. You can see the linseed, seed, sunflower seed, pumpkin seed and the cranberries. So yes, that's pretty simple bread, simple recipe that you might be able to do quite easily. Cut it in some small parts and just make some toast to eat with some butter or whatever you want. Because this one is quite small also, you can also cut it in two parts and just make a sandwich if you want. But don't make a too big sandwich because yeah, it's quite dense, quite heavy, so it's also quite caloric. Anyway, this bread is super tasty. I of course recommend you to try it. And yes, it's quite short video because it's an easy bread to make at home. So I hope you will enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe, it will be super appreciated and give it a like and i see you next time for another video ciao